I still have it. Thank you, Jennifer. God, I need this drink now. Oh, shoot. You guys didn't hear that, did you? Oh, well, if you did. I see you. <laughs> you did not. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. You don't know the worst. Oh, that's a good one. You don't know that. Hi, welcome again. My name is the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I actually almost had a chance to get on NXT today. I, 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 I should have done it. Darn it. That's okay because NXT was... Wow. I thought Sanford sunk to a no, new low. Nope. It's Daytona Beach, folks. Um, that was NXT Live here in Daytona Beach, and I was all excited about it. But instead, I'm, I'm chanting about a, a woman named Jennifer, and happy I'm drinking adult beverages. And bragging about it, I might add, which is not something I've done in a while. Sounds like I'd like to. <laughs> Oh, I have to get this done fairly quickly because I have some more AEW to catch up on. Um, I just came back from NXT NXT Live here in Daytona Beach. Shoot. Oh, I have plenty of images. Okay. I hope it generates one good image because I got a lot of videos. I'll tell you what. The only good thing about this show is that Sherry was really lax. I have a lot of video for you guys. Oh, wait, that's right. There was a one woman's match. That's weird. This was a really weird show. Um, it started off, they always have the one that always is getting emptier and emptier. And it feels like WWE, mainly NXT, is trying Daytona Beach like. A glorified practice gym, because I mean, this is like the the third time they really had like well, the second time for sure in Daytona Beach, but the third time gone to see NXT, and it's really like the third string team out there. Um, I could tell because at the autograph sign, they only had. Well, they had three people, but it was only. Did they do that last time? I guess only do three people. I know sometimes they'll have a tag, like a tag team and two others for a total of four. But this time they just had a tag team and someone else. Um, it was Team 3.0, which comprised of. Matt Lee and Jeff something. I never get Jeff's name. And it was... Here, I have it down here somewhere. No. Raku Singh. We're signing autograph. Once I saw that, I'm like... I, I know them only because I've been to other NXT matches. Like, if this is your first time to NXT, and you see these two, you're like, see these three, you're like, who are these people? <laughs> Actually, something really terrible happened. 
<laughs> and it was the first time. <laughs> and the poor woman, wow, I feel bad for her. I'll tell you what, they're, they're changing their system around really soon. And just because of that, I need a drink. Mainly because I drink at home. I don't like drinking and driving. Cops, uh, they'd be the first one I'd catch. Or I'd get hit by someone drunk. We'd both go to jail. That's neither here nor there. Let's talk about some about NXT. Um, first, they started to hype up TakeOver, which is in a week. And I guess that explains why the people that were here were here. And then I'll also show a quick video of that and also the people that were signing autographs. The funny thing is, even like the normal cast of security characters weren't there. It's kind of weird because I kind of know who they are now. I'm sure they 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 know Hobo Tom. So we have to get we have to kick this guy out of the building. But um, the only two names they announced to be there was Kushida and Eric Bugenhofen, and I can never pronounce his name right. Although they did have a little bit higher quality main event. Matt already texted me. Here we go off and sounds like I like to. Hey, this is Daytona Beach. This is Daytona Beach, sir. Sir. This is Daytona. Yes. <laughs> Enough said. Um, but let's get things started. So the first match of the evening was Brendan Williams versus Sam Shaw.
And this kind of started off the evening kind of slow, I guess. And I'm going to go do something else while I'm talking a little bit. Oh, wow, that's right. I have like impact notes. But, um, here, AEW. And this was a kind of classic match. Nothing really too fancy going on. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give Sam Shaw all the credit in the world. He is actually really into his character. And his character just honestly gets the heck boot out of him. So, oh, they're talking about Cody Rhodes now. Oh, wow, they're both bloody mess. That is so awesome. So, I'm going to just write this down. Wow. Cody B. Dustin. Dustin. Bloody mess. And very, very kind of traditional match. And wow, that's pretty cool looking. I'm going to do this. Yeah, so I can talk talk and watch about this. So every so often you're going to see me distracted. Because all Elite Wrestling's in on Double or Nothing. Um, but more so about Brian Williams, again, uh, Sam Shaw, I mean, he's really into his character. Uh, neither of these two guys really do anything for me. You know who the heel is, you know who the face is. Um, there's definitely a whole bunch of two sweets out there. And, I mean, it's just a really good basic match. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, you saw the action, folks. It was a good match. But, I mean, it's really just a ham sandwich. Whoa. Curb stomp. Bloody Dusty. Dusty Dustin. I'm old. I mean, this is a ham sandwich match. I mean, nothing great happened during it. It was okay, though. I mean, you didn't say ham sandwich. It was, it was there, okay. I'm like, okay, well, that was fun. Let's see what the second match brings. And in the second match, we have Jasmine Duke versus Lacey Lane. I'll tell you what, this, between that, little axe handle. So classic. Um, again, Jasmine Duke versus Lacey Lane. It was good. Nothing I can really complain about. Again, it's... Um, let me show you the intro.
you know what video not found so i'll come back to that i just know that's just gonna be an amazing match to watch probably tomorrow actually i'll just leave it up i don't care <laughs> that's just an image i have of awesome I'll really show you a screen of good stuff but <sighs> Well, let me let me get to let me get to this stuff though. Damn that Grand Natalie killing our vibe! I don't even know where this. Is. I'm so distracted. Oh wow! Um, oh, I have to give shoutouts too. Oh, I'll do that later. I'll do that at the end, I guess. The whole story behind that. Um, so so this was actually pretty good. It was it was old. It was felt like an old school match. Jasmine Duke feels like she's like a good collegiate wrestler. And that's really about it. Um, Lacey Lane is definitely the better of the two. I mean, much more active in the ring. I mean, overall, it was a very traditional wrestling match until Lacey Lane got involved. Again, um, figure four. Cody Whoopin. Big bro, big brother. But I mean, Jasmine Dukes, very traditional, mixes her MMA in pretty good. Time for a belt whooping. But, I mean, this was a good match. I mean, the fact that, that Jasmine Duke won is okay. Um, after a while, it did get to become rest hold mania. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Cody. And he did a Lucha Destroyer. Bust out Lucha Destroyer. That's awesome. Again, I'm doing a reaction show because, again, how, how can you do it at his age? That's a good, that's a darn good question. Um,. Yeah, this was a good match. I mean, Jasmine Duke won with like a roll, with like a kick to the face. It was really quick. <sighs> this was one of the better matches. I mean, when watching it, 
I'll give it this much. I wrote this down. This is a cheeseburger match. And then again, you're going to see just a lot of videos, and I hope some of these get, get picked as a thumbnail, I hope. If not, I still have... I could have done that too. Shoot. It was only the one women's match. That was weird. Oh. And Brain Buster. That was cool. Um, so that was that. The third match was also actually fairly good. I mean, I think the big thing was... Dude, someone was absolutely horrified. But it was Adriana Delgavin. I mean, I just know him as Adrian Dow. And I don't like that. They changed his name for, versus um, Mouse Soil. Oh, 
That was a long promo to this. I think they're focusing more so on promos. Oh, Cody Rhodes hit the crossroads. One, two. Oh, he kicks up. Crossroad kick up. But this was pretty good. Um, as long heel, I'll tell you what. A Adrian, I, I, he changed his name, and I forget how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But he is a good Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I mean, honestly, with this match, it was a really good mix of wrestling and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Jiu Was a satellite head scissors takedown, which is awesome. Whoa, dust. Bleeding. Pouring blood. Wow. Dust and just pouring blood. Now he hits cross. That was cool with a kick out. Something awesome is going to happen. That damn, oh, if it wasn't, but I, I had a good, um, happy end of show. 
I guess. Again, we'll get into that later. But yeah, it was really good, though. I mean, the kicks to the chest were really good. I like the fact that this time the, the, the kicks have a thud to it. I like me some thuds. I don't want to hear slaps. I want thuds. That means it connects, which is pretty good. And there was a sling slot, slingshot neckbreaker, which I'm surprised is not a finisher. And then ended with a roll-up. And again, so you have heel, the heel again faces his hubris. But again, it was a really fun match, though. I couldn't really complain about it that much. And, I mean, if it's something you can't screw up, there's one thing you cannot screw up, and that's a good cheeseburger. So this is a cheeseburger match. Then we get to our next match, and this is where things start to go kind of downhill a little, a little bit. We have uh, Cesar Bonone versus Faku Singh. If, that's, if, this is any, if this is a preview for War Gang Daytona Beach, this is going to, oh, God. Oh, so good. So good is AEW right now. <laughs> so good was Impact. Um, so, I mean, this was, I mean, this really made it feel like it was a C show. Um, oh, what's Cody trying to do? Ooh, the back break. Of sorts. I have to mind my time. Fans are praying. Dustin Guerrero in there. Safe, safest cop killer ever. But, um, I mean, if it's going, if it's not going to be like this, I'll tell you what. Even though it was a good match and the action was actually really good.
Is that Earl Hebner in the ring? Dude, that's a flay. Um, I don't know. It just lacks something. I mean, uh, Cesar looked a little bit botchy at times. I mean, it was good. I mean, Rock was the master of the headlock. Which is not something you ever want to hear. Cody looks dreadful. With brother's blood. Oh, he destroyed! He destroyed Triple H's throne. Oh, wrecked. Thrown with sledgehammer. Brandy got kicked out. And I mean, this match, the match I actually saw, not the one I'm watching right now, it was a can of soup. Absolutely nothing special about it. Okay, folks, huge announcement. I'm going to see if I can actually get there. But just mentioned for the Jacksonville pay-per-view for AEW, I hate doing this on an, on an NXT show, but this is worthy of it. Cody Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes versus the Young Bucks. And then we get to match number five. And they just shook hands about it. Cody Rhodes is just held the ropes open. Oh, so freaking amazing. Cody held the ropes for Dustin. That's amazing. Then the fifth match, um, then Brandon fight. Versus Kushida. The following contest is a four one call.
What on God's green earth is Kushida doing on an undercard? Kushida is Kushida the freaking main eventer forever. I mean, he can main event in anything. Whoa, Excalibur. He's scratching his nose. That's funny. Excalibur scratches his nose. Scratches nose under mask on TV. But uh, <laughs> that's terrible. Um, but I have no idea why this match here. I mean, oh wow, I gotta see that too. <laughs> I just hope Colt Cabana showed up. Glacier was here. Oh wow. That's, that's terrible. He had the blue mist. Whoa, is that the bouncer? AC. Tommy Dreamer showed up too. Whoa, with trash can lid. 
Is that Hangman Page? Cool. Yeah, I'm just like enjoying this way too much. Did he just do that to? Oh, whoa! Shungle Boy. Who's that with no legs? Lucius Bar. I'm sorry, folks. That casino battle royale oh, looks awesome, too. Oh, shoot! A stable gun to the head! Oh! 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 And... Down there! I gotta remember this. But, um... Again, Kushida's really good. I mean, there's obviously the height difference... I think actually people started to leave when they when they said Kushida's Kushida, Kushida's in this match here at this area. Oh, Hangman Page won the Battle Royal. That's pretty cool. Page wins. Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did. Battle Royal. Does too. I forget. I don't care who. But I mean, Kushida's an amazing wrestler. But I mean, I just can't see why he's taking on a jobber when he should be taking on, I mean, someone so much better than himself. I mean, I really hate to do this. I'll tell you what. No, what do you want me to give this match? Oh, it was actually, it was fun. Only because Kushida made it fun. I mean, with that, it's a good cheeseburger match. Holy shoot, Bret Hart. Wow. That's insane. With belt. Wow. So let me mute that again. Bret Hart and AEW. No. I think so much. No.
is in the main event against me. I'll see you tonight, bro. Allow. I'm cool with that. Um, again, it was a good cheeseburger match. And then the sixth match, I mean, they had a break. A lot of people started to leave. Thankfully, well, one person came back. Again, Tranquilo. The sixth match, it was Eric Bugenhoff versus Jermaine Payne.
has been cut, has been blocked at the copyright owner's request. Oh, wow. Glad I'm not doing that anymore. Um, I'll come back to that. I'll actually finish up this video. I'll, I'll stay focused, folks, for the last 14 or so minutes. So, again, we had Eric Bugenhoff, who has way too long of an entrance. And Jermaine Payne, who, with his manager, also has way too long of an entrance. I mean, you definitely know who the heel and face is. Again, my whole thing is this really basic move set. I mean, he did do the monkey flip. It was fun. He did get the crowd involved, and everyone loves it when the crowd gets involved. Then Jermaine Payne went off of a big splash from nowhere, from the top rope. How is Eric Bugenhoff still alive? I mean, I remember I did a moonsault at the top rope once when I was at Killer Kowalski's gym. And that was like the one time I actually stepped inside of the squared circle. Yeah, it was only that one time. I'd like to do it again, though. I think I still have a few more bumps left in me. Can, I can still remember how to run the ropes, too. Huh? Wait a second. Did I type everything right? No, Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Stupid cell phone. Bret Hart is at AEW. My cell phone, I've, I've abused this poor thing too much like today, I think. I'm sorry, folks. But, I mean, that match, it's... I mean, it was a ham sandwich. And that's probably only because... Well, come on, only because the crowd could, could get involved. But again, there was no bra throwing. Unlike what I almost saw at Sanford. Then we get to our seventh match, which was a tag team match. That's where my tummy grumbled. That means I'm hungry. And it was... Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel, which is pretty cool. 
versus Team 3.0 with Matt Lee and Jeff something. And for the most part, it was a really classic tag team match. I mean, nothing terrible. I mean, very classic work. There was Canada instead of USA because the, the two of them for, from Canada. Um, there was some fun stuff. Again, I like the fact that the, the tag team has energy. They run around. They go off the ropes. Both teams had amazing tag team wrestling. And I want to upgrade this. I think I'm not going to poo-poo just because the crowd wasn't involved. Again, um, very classic tag team work. Um, Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner did go over.
But I'll tell you what. This was a really good match. It's hard to screw up a good match. This is another cheeseburger match. And then with that, oh, I have to tell you this story. So at NXT events, they have a fan of the night. Um, the person who tweets out, and you use you use said device, and make tweet with hashtag NXT Daytona Beach or hashtag NXT DB, what well, whatever it is, it just went off too. Gosh, I'd like my cell phone. So again, the person whom they select actually tweets out hashtag NXT Daytona Beach, hash, hashtag NXT DB, well, whatever it is, hashtag Daytona Beach NXT. I, I have no clue. Well, one day I'll, I'll, I'll be worried about that stuff. Not right now, though. Whoever was the fan of the night left before the main event. The poor announcer, and I forget her name. This was the first time this ever happened. And it's probably, if they're smart, going to be the last time. Because she had to wait, and I think I got a, a quick video clip of it, maybe. Where she was calling out the guy's name, Zach something. Zach? 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 Zach, Zach, um, is Zach here? Did, did Zach leave? This has never happened to me before. And they gave it, bless her heart, she gave it to some young girl in the crowd. That's pretty cool. She gets a prize pack of a t-shirt, a glow stick, a signed picture, tickets to next time's NXT in Daytona Beach, and a picture with Kushida. She... She did right by the company. I'll tell you what, they're going to have a first choice, a second choice, and if they're smart, they're going to have a third choice after that. Yeah. No. Oh, first he said no Bret Hart. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to that later. Oh. Stupid cell phone typing. Oh, cell phone typing stuff. I hate autocorrect. So bless her because she gave it to, to a very deserving des deserving young fan. She That young girl's probably a fan for life. That's pretty cool. So then the main event of the evening, just like we saw, actually, like I previewed earlier, um, it's Matt Riddle versus Trevor Lee.
<laughs> again, the match, the, the fan of the night left. That was funny. And Trevor Lee, again, is just working over the legs. I mean, very, very heel stuff. Um, Matt Riddell's definitely showing off his beach. I thought it was really the match of the night, and as it should be. <laughs> That's why you always have to double check. This was kind of like the match of the night and everything. I think the only issue that I had with this, not so much for me, but for the other fans, is that it was a very technical match. And trust me, I thoroughly enjoy me a technical match. The other casual fans want to see flippy, flippy stuff. Trust me, I go bonkers for flippy, flippy stuff. But technical stuff, I'm like, ooh, that's good. It's a little too technical for that crowd, though. Um, eventually, Trevor, again, he just goes, works over the leg. Matt Riddell selling the leg. And I think there was, I think a tap out. I honestly forget the end. I just know it was the end. And and Matt Riddell wins. In, I mean, it's hard to screw up this match. This is another cheeseburger match. And that mystery lady was there. So I know I didn't ask. Well, I asked her name. So, Jen, this video clip goes out to you.
And that's only because you made this night one of the best NXTs ever. Also to Brendan, this video clip goes out to you. And that was NXT Daytona Beach. Overall, again, for, for the value for 10 bucks and to say hello to a very attractive woman, it, it was worth it, I guess. I mean, after reading terrible papers all day long for work, this was a good, mindless entertainment. Again, NXT has to be careful. They keep on pulling these, these third-string shows and B-shows. Eventually, people aren't going to show up for it. And I'll rant and rave about that until the cows come home, but for the most part, that's the truth. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. Again, always feel free to leave a comment, email, or subscription. Yes, that's correct. And again, you'll get your own little video dedication. And I'll see everyone probably tomorrow when I watch more AEW. Bye. Bye. Jeez, that was a freaking terrible show. I got I got to drink more before. Drink more and watch less while I do these things. Bye.